Home Life and Style is brought to you by the Pine Hills, offering inspired new homes and daily adventures just 45 minutes from Boston. Ethan Allen, every detail matters. Longfellow Design Build, architect and builder for Cape Cod and beyond. Snow and Jones, a fixture in New England homes since 1952. And by Classic Tile and Stone, your tile and stone destination. I'm Parker Kelly. Welcome to Home Life and Style. I am passionate about design, food, and travel. I love discovering new places, meeting new people, and sharing who they are, how they live, and what they love. In each episode, I'll introduce you to a new destination through the eyes of the people who call it home. Join me as we celebrate these towns, these people, these homes in style. Today I'm on my way to Duxbury, Massachusetts, a historic seaside community about 35 miles southeast of Boston. I'm on my way to the southern part of Duxbury to an area known as Eagle's Nest. I'm on my way to meet Lynn and Bill in their three-bedroom, 3,600-square-foot contemporary shingle-style home. The couple has only lived in this newly constructed home for just a few months, but they've been Duxbury residents for their entire married life together, nearly 50 years. This is a brand new home and a brand new chapter for them. And home, as it's often said, is where the anchor drops. Lynn and Bill raised their family in the town center in a beautiful antique sea captain's home. They loved this home and the rich maritime history Duxbury has. But when they were ready for a change, their new home's ever-changing views of the bay, cove, and marshes, and the fact that their son, daughter-in-law, and grandkids live right next door were a huge draw. I'm going to meet these homeowners, check out their home and this new chapter of their life, and then a local chef and I are going to cook up a dinner party and celebrate home life and style in Duxbury, Massachusetts. How are you? Great to finally oh, meet great you. Great to see you. Nice to see you. Hi, Bill. Great to see you. That's the showstopper, I think. <laughs> they built it like the inverted hull of a ship. The whole house has sort of a nautical feel. That's yes. what we're yeah. going for. You we're know. boat people. Boat people. <laughs> I'm with you there. Wonderful. No. Isn't that beautiful? So off here, Parker, this is our bedroom. Oh, isn't this lovely? It's, it's so restful. That uh, painting's beautiful. That is a painting or is that a photograph? Yeah, it's a painting. This is, we collect um, local artists. Oh, yeah. It sets the tone for this room so well. Uh, and your interior designer helped you with this one, Barbara? Oh, yeah. She, I mean, she was... She was the color girl, the walls, and I said I want soft, yes. restful, peaceful yeah. home, and she did it. <laughs> oh, 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 this is so pretty. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Isn't this pretty? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's just one big room. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, and a corner fireplace. That's cute. I love that. That's nice. It's kind of clever. Kind of modern. I said I wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, see that from the dining room table. Yeah. So they tucked it around the corner. <laughs> I guess <laughs> you ask. And, and it shall be done. And they, and it shall <laughs> Perfect. Be done. We had a lot of antiques um, in the old house. Mm -hmm. We kept our antique table, which I love, and it has two more leaves. <laughs> okay. And That's eight nice... chairs. The table was in a castle for something like 200 years. <laughs> oh, for real? <laughs> and Yeah, for real. So moving on, this mm -hmm. is our, our new kitchen, which is pretty yeah. good. What I love about this little stove is a little mini oven here. Oh, okay. This oh, a big oven for Bill and I. Okay, yes. You don't need to do the whole oven, so I think that's adorable. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I, I love how shiny that is too. It reminds me of um, uh, the, the inside of an oyster. The sea, I know. The, the, the okay. glistening part of a, the best about the seashells. Reflection and it, it works well, does it? Yes, yeah. it's really pretty. We have a. Um, a a new steam oven here. Okay. It gets really hot and you open the door and it it just the steam billows out. For reheating food like pizza. Oh yeah. It actually is really good because it doesn't dry it out. Oysters in there. Oh. 
and they opened up. Yeah, very good. Very easy to open. I love the navy too. It's so nautical. <laughs> so, so it's fun. Yeah. And it carries on up there. So you'll see when you hit the landing. Oh, you see. Oh, look at that. The view over the marsh. I just love it. <laughs> I bet in the fall it's stunning too. So okay. here's one of our guest rooms upstairs. All right. Oh, I love the rug in here. Oh, I love these two colors together. That armoire came from Bill's mother's house. I love it to death, but it it weighs a ton. And oh, Barbara Joe said, I've got the spot for it. And she said, right there. Yeah. So. When I was probably about 10 years old, um, we bought that at an auction and it had been painted. <clears throat> and I don't know what possessed me, but I started stripping it and I completely stripped it and varnished it. And I was 10, 12 it's not years varnish. old. Varnish? I don't and think it's varnished. It is. It oh. was slightly varnished oh, okay. with a low luster. Oh, okay. Trust me. <laughs> it took me a long time to varnish it. I believe it. And that was my father's armoire for, from then on, mm. years and years and years. And, and that years. was just your own project you took on. That's lo right. Stripping wood is. He a needs lot. to stay busy, yeah. this man. Yeah. Parker? Yes. This is our Second oh, guest room. Look at the light pouring in here right now. This afternoon light. It and, is oh my amazing, goodness. isn't it? Is this a Leonard bed? Is a, is a, it, it is. It is a Leonard bed. bed. Yes. Good call. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I, that's see, lovely. I, I spent my life mm -hmm. searching out antiques. And, and then we moved last year and we have to get rid of virtually everything. Yeah. It's just a different house. But so. it's a, just a select piece here yeah. and there. I know. Really. Well, we, had to, we had to keep this yeah, one piece because I love it. This is a little sitting room off of the bedrooms. I love the rose. For our, our children and our guests. Who is this? That's Bill's mom. Oh. The rose and the blue. <laughs> Perfect choice. Oh. Echoing what's in the sitting room. And so. Love it. And the nice view out there as well. I'd so. say. After our home tour, Lynn and Bill wanted me to taste some local flavor. And nothing says local in Duxbury, besides their amazing beach, quite like oysters. We headed to the raw bar at Island Creek Oyster Farm and sat on their scenic, casual patio overlooking Duxbury Bay. The owner, Skip Bennett, a true pioneer and entrepreneur in aquaculture, happened to be there and shared some of the history of Island Creek oysters with us. Right out of college and in 1990, I started messing around with growing shellfish in the bay. I was growing clams, and in 1995, all the clams died. Yeah. And so I started, I uh, tried growing oysters, which uh, was kind of a crazy idea because there were no wild oysters in Duxbury. So I didn't even know if they would grow here. And, uh, 25 years later, Duxbury is one of the biggest oyster towns in the country. Oh, oh, yeah, good oh, yeah. Yeah. This is our white surgeon caviar it's from California. And then this is a new product that we're trying. It's our paddlefish roe. Island Creek. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Island mm. oh, Creek. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you. The food was delicious. The ambiance was lovely, and it seemed like the whole neighborhood had turned out to enjoy it. A perfect Duxbury night. I've got joy to share with you in my arms. Just a little hug every day will solve your problems. I've got love to share with you in my pocket just a little kiss on the lips and we'll skyrocket we go worked long and hard, built a career, a life, knowing that one day, with a little luck, you'll have time. At Longfellow Design Build, we design and build new homes, new 
kitchens. New additions to your home. We handle everything from conception to completion. Working in unison with you, for you, so you can have the home you envision, so you can have the home you deserve, so you can focus on what's important. Longfellow Design Build, architect and builder for Cape Cod and beyond. The next morning, I met up with Peter Polemus, architect, builder, and founding partner at Polemus Savory de Silva. PSD, as it's known, is an integrated architecture and construction firm. Peter spoke to me about some of the remarkable features of the home. Conceptually, mm -hmm. you can see that the house, that the roof peels up, yeah. and it goes from one story to two stories on the back where the water is. It's symmetrical around the front entry, mm -hmm. but it's not symmetrical. This, there's a piece over here, but it, it, it's a strong enough symmetry that you can have this other wing and it doesn't detract. And there's some whimsy as well. Our homes are known for their weather wings. So obviously the eagle, eagle's, eagle's nest. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. it's no brainer right yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, but it's beautiful and it's, and it's commanding. It's very commanding. Well, and it's appropriate the way the home builds yeah. to have that you know, commanding element on the top, it needs, it needs that. I mean, do you get desensitized at all, do you think, about any of the elements no. over time? No, no, I think we, you know, we're very excited about, about the fact that we're able to create places for people yeah. that they truly love. After my chat with Peter, I headed to the Duxbury Marketplace to meet up with the lovely Sarah Beatty, floral designer and owner of Consider the Lilies, responsible for adding such beauty and life into Bill and Lynn's home. Sarah was inspired by her mother and grandmother at a very young age, but didn't open up shop until 2010 after doing all of the arrangements for a friend's wedding. The event sparked her passion, and she named the shop after one of her favorite scriptural verses. Her shop smelled delightful, and I was excited to see her in her element. Let me show you yeah. around. Yeah, please. Our focus is flowers, containers, and uh, candles. We have um, a listing here of all the um, prices of flowers. When I opened up the shop, um, I wanted people to know exactly what they were buying. I had had experience with flower shops where I was intimidated. I didn't know how much things cost, and I felt as though I wasn't important. When, it, when you walked in, you weren't given like a time or, so when people come into the shop now, they're welcomed and they know exactly what they're buying. They know the prices of everything and. Okay, um, wow, wow. So I'm really excited about what you're gonna do uh, with Lynn and Bill's home, oh my goodness. So the flowers are there to just enhance the beauty of the home, just bring in a, bit, a little bit of life. So we'll come in with some calm, but then a pop of, of something bright that almost catches your eyes. You're, you're looking around, you don't want the flowers to jump out at you, you want the home to jump out, but then a little, something that almost like catches your eye. Mm -hmm. These are for you. Now I just feel like I'm, I'm gonna leave now. Okay. <laughs> it was great to see you. Thank you, you so much. You too. After my sweet visit with Sarah, I headed back to Lynn and Bill's home. They had invited me for a boat ride, and of course, I never say no to that. Their son, Bill, and his wife, Jenny, and their two boys, William, 11, and Channing, 10, joined us. We go fishing a lot. Oh, you do? you do? like fishing? I love fishing. This yes, I do. This is pretty good fishing around here now, right. but when I was a kid, the fishing here was amazing. Oh, wow. Well, Absolutely. Well, you could go out and get five or six codfish yeah. this big. After our boat ride, the sun came out, so they invited me to share a glass of wine with them on their patio. I learned about Jenny's career in technology and how Bill Jr. had been working alongside his father in money management for nearly 15 years. As we chatted and the sun went down, the boys ran around the yard and introduced me to some of the family's chickens. It was a wonderful way to end our night. just about the fixtures. 
Snow and Jones, the family-owned business that contractors and homeowners on the South Shore and Cape Cod have depended on since 1952. The overall aesthetic of the Pine Hills has a quality that's, that's very high. I mean, when you first started walking the, the, the grounds, the landscaping, you said it has to be spectacular because the, the land is spectacular. Well, the, the land is spectacular and it, it starts with trying to see where the land is telling us to build. Uh, we are crafting the right location for, for the home to sit and to view that woods or water or uh, mm -hmm. a beautiful tree or the horizon or even the ocean. And our job is to try and utilize the grade in the trees to create that kind of privacy so that as one moves from neighborhood to neighborhood and sometimes even from home to home, that there are these pieces of nature that frame your view or change the way in which you perceive the homes that you're seeing. I've worked with Kristen and Julie for about seven years now, about 30 projects. They care as much as I do about the finished product. And every time I walk in, I'm always like, girls, what do we have new? And they always have things set aside to show me. And it's, every time I go there, it's so exciting. They text me pictures as soon as tile comes in that they think is really exciting. Like, on, even on a Saturday, I'll get a text. And they'll know that I'm just as excited to see it as they are to share it. And so they're, they're my go-to. Recognized and respected. Classic tile and stone on Boston's South Shore. The next morning, I stopped by Classic Tile and Stone in Hingham to talk with co-owners Kristen and Julie about the gorgeous tile in Bill and Lynn's house. Barbara O'Rourke, the interior designer on the project, also joined us to talk about the process of creating such stunning decor. Bill and Lynn's home is spectacular. Spectacular. And so it's important to know one another as you're starting in these steps as the tile person and the designer. It's important to talk together before you start Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's very important yeah. to, you know. Right. But we had worked with the Rices on a previous project. Oh, okay. So Kristen already had a really good feel for how they worked, how easy going. Okay. Is this their you know, Florida very, home? Mm -hmm. Their Florida home. Okay, yeah. We did that. So when Lynn called Kristen, you know, there was no problem jumping in and taking over. Yeah. Do you have a like, favorite part of the home? The mother of pearl bathroom. The mother of pearl, yes, mm -hmm. gorgeous. I noticed there's a blingy and the shimmer and all that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's blingy, but not too much. Not it too still much. It has a real natural feel. Yes, yes. The inside of a shell and it feels oceany. Yes. Yeah, that's probably my favorite yeah. bathroom in the house too. Mm -hmm. um, I think another um, unexpected feature in the bar is mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. antique mm -hmm. tarot. Is that mercury glass? It's and, yeah. and marble. Yeah, um, really pretty. And it's, it's just really fun it, yeah. to pops. come off of the kitchen, which is a lot of white marble. It's just a very small space, but you want to just linger there because mm -hmm. it's got that really cool antique feel. Yeah. So thanks for taking the time to chat with me, and uh, your work is beautiful, and I'm glad you guys uh, you. were well, part of that. You. It was a great, great home to feature. After visiting Classic Tile and Stone, I stopped at the Sun Tavern to visit our chef for the night, Gary James. This quaint farmhouse dating back to pre-revolutionary days has been named one of the top 100 restaurants in New England. It has a reputation for not only great food, but also being haunted. Many visitors hope to encounter the property's three alleged ghosts, two sisters, and the man once known as Duxbury's last hermit. I didn't actually feel any spirits, but it did feel eerily quiet. In 1964, David Wells purchased it and Every night, he would blow the candles in the restaurant, mm -hmm. and one candle would relight. And he became a little bit of a laughing stock around town until one night, uh, the police were called, the alarm went off. And the police came in, they searched the whole building, there was nothing here. As they were walking down the path, they heard footsteps in the restaurant. They came back in with guns drawn, didn't find a thing. And that's when everybody stopped laughing at David Wells because they knew that they, there are spirits. Yeah. There are other stories, other people have experienced things, glasses falling over on a table that nobody's around. Um, one girl came in to change the table and she said that the table started to shake. You know, little things like that. Right, have you been approached by any spirits? Or? I, you know, there was one little experience, a shadow that I saw, and it was coming towards me and then it 
sort of took off quickly out back between the shed and the restaurant. Mm. My shadow was gray and behind me and this one was dark black and out to the side. So it was, seemed like a spirit. Yeah. Wow. So do you get a lot of people who come here for the spirits? Yes, yes. we do. We do. And we've actually had, um, with previous owner, they had uh, some paranormal investigators come in uh, and they pick up a lot of activity. And the one thing that we always do, we always say hi and always say goodbye when we're coming and going to the spirits. So um, should I let you get going for sure. your day? Do you want to? Get ready for it. Should I say goodbye? I think you should. Goodbye. Bye, Lysander. Goodbye, girls. <laughs> While Gary got everything ready, I headed back to the home and found a few moments to chat with Bill and Lynn before the guests began to arrive. I wanted to talk about uh, the guests. Who, who are these people that are coming tonight? Most of them are our old gourmet group, but I didn't tell the chef that because I didn't want him to be intimidated. <laughs> but they're all good cooks. <laughs> they're all excellent cooks. Yeah, and so how did you um, become part of a gourmet group and for how long have you been doing it? 38 years. 38 years. 38 years we've been cooking together, but not all the same people. Now, it's been a learning curve too because we weren't great cooks to start off with, but we were game for anything, so. How was it as a, a raising the family here? I mean, easy peasy. Yeah. Centrally located, you know, the water's right there, boating, beach, did a lot of beach with the kids. I mean, the waterfront culture in Duxbury mm -hmm. is absolutely special. And I think it was about 20 years ago that a group of people got together, happened to include us, and took over a defunct boatyard and started the Duxbury Bay Maritime School. And boy, does that have it a reputation for excellence a all around. So what's the next chapter look like for you guys? <laughs> We're going to have to wait and see, yeah. won't we? Right. Well, happily ever after here, I think. Well, it's a beautiful home, and I'm looking forward to a really great dinner party. The chef will do a great job. And I'm not chef. cooking, so <laughs> what a pleasure. Win-win. <laughs> chef Gary had set up in the kitchen while I talked with Bill and Lynn, and he offered to show me a very unique take on a salad course. So start me off. All right, so we're going to start with the, the pear. We're going to take off the top and the bottom of the pear. Perfect. Yes? That's it. Nice. And these pieces here, I actually save these and I make a little puree. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna come down, take the core, and just keep going around. Oh, I and see. And taking more, more mm -hmm. pieces out, just to make the, the opening a little bigger, because you want to get a good amount of your lettuce in there. So at that point, we'll pretend that we just poach these. Okay. <laughs> and we got to this. Oh, wow. Didn't I poach it well? You did. Lynn, have you ever done this before? Maybe. Have you ever used a, a, a vase? A vase? A pear vase? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, though. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. You're going to make an apple cider vinaigrette. All right. That's Dijon mustard. Dijon. Minced shallot. Apple cider vinegar. This is the apple cider that we poached the pear in. Okay. Oh, put with the cinnamon and all that? Yeah, put a little bit of that in there for the sweetness. Mm -hmm. A little bit of oil. And so I'm um, emulsifying this, am I? Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do now is this is the those little pear pieces I told you about. That oh, that's the puree. And then we are pressing our friends, aren't we? <laughs> and we have some smoked blue cheese. Uh huh. Now where do you get that? We actually smoke it ourselves oh, at the restaurant. You? Isn't that beautiful? I love that. And I was throw just a little bit of this. Yeah, I saw those in your garden today. Yes. A little bit of reduced balsamic vinegar just for a. A little it drama, is, a little flair. Look at that. And a little chop chai. That is gorgeous. Color. Isn't that gorgeous? There you go. <laughs> it's so pretty. Thank you. Awesome. Nice. Love it. Hi. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, Parker. you cool. Hi. Welcome to Ethan Allen. Thank you. I'm Michelle. Hi, I'm an Michelle. interior designer here Perfect. at Ethan Allen. Nice. And I'd love to show you all our different options that we have for artwork. Parker, I'd like to first begin showing you this beautiful abstract. 
we designed an entire room around this beautiful piece. It's gorgeous. Parka, the three pieces behind us are all custom, handcrafted, three-dimensional, that give a very contemporary feel. Yeah, exquisite and handmade. They're all handmade. So here is a perfect example, Park, uh, of a beautiful piece of artwork and the entire vignette here is designed to complement the artwork and they go beautifully together. Trilogy, Boston's finest private yacht charter. More than 100 feet of luxury. Corporate parties, anniversary celebrations, sunset cruises, wedding proposals, birthday parties, family reunions. Celebrate in style. On board Trilogy. SunsetYachtRentals.com Looking for more inspiration? You can find it in the pages of South Shore Home Life and Style. Beautiful imagery and thoughtfully curated stories showcasing fine home design and decor, top area restaurants, boutiques, arts, culture, and more. It's the lifestyle magazine celebrating the seaside communities south of Boston. Join seasoned editor Maria Allen and her talented team as they reveal the many reasons this region is such a special place to live, work, and visit. Available on newsstands now. To subscribe, visit SouthShoreHomeLifeAndStyle.com. The gourmet guests began to arrive. While Gary continued his magic in the kitchen, we all enjoyed wine from Bill and Lynn's wine cellar. The beautiful views from the new house and reminiscing about the group's years of culinary adventures. It was beautiful. Before long, it was time for dinner at the antique table. What a treat to dine at a table that was once in a castle. Welcome everyone. Our first dish tonight is a pan-seared sea scallop and it's served on a roasted cauliflower puree. There's a caper raisin emulsion there's some of our house-made bacon on here and some crispy parsnips. I, I love the cauliflower uh, puree. It's this puree. It mm -hmm. adds a little sweetness to it that there you I go. like a lot. Any kind of chicken. Visually, it was beautiful. Um, visually, beautiful. Uh, Wait till you see what it's about to come. <laughs> A gourmet group having a dinner party in your new chapter, your new season. Your son, oh your daughter-in-law. Amazing chef from the Sun Tavern. Is Gary James not amazing? No, here we go. And, and, and the team. The team has been fabulous. This has just been a, a beautiful episode here in Duxbury. For Home Life and Style, I'm Parker Kelly. Till next week, cheers. Cheers! cheers.